Hi everyone, I have a corollary to prove for you in abstract algebra, and this corollary is to a theorem that I to, uh, a to the i is equal to a to the j if and only if n divides i minus j. So I'm going to use that fact when I prove this. This statement says if I have an element a in a group whose order is n, and just remember that all that that means is if I take a to the n, it's the identity element, and n is the smallest value that makes this true. So this statement says if I take, if, uh, if a to the k is equal to the identity element, then n divides k. Well, why is that true? Well, if I assume this, a to the k equals e, um, it's also true that a to the zero power equals the identity element, right? That's just sort of a definitional thing. So both of these equal the identity element. Well, from the theorem I proved in my previous video, which you might want to check out, I know that a to the i is equal to a to the j if and only if n divides i minus j. And this is for finite order a. Well, here, my i is just k, my zero is just zj. So by this theorem, that means that n divides k minus zero, or simply that n divides k. And that's the entire theorem. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a really quick proof. I kind of like it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please just let me know down below. We'll see if you can point you in the right direction. And have an awesome day.